How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Saucy Shane. Super Bowl Sunday. Two sauce reviews. Hope you're all having a good day. Been watching uh, Hot Damn Show and Atomic Menace smash 10 bottles of the League of Fire Chug Challenge. Yesterday, my boy Phil at Everything Spicy, he smashed five of them. True heroes of the game right there in the Chile community. My hat's off to you. Nowhere near the level of that, but we're going to review this. I've seen this at my local grocery store. We got Zashila Salsa Habanera and Salsa Guacamole, also with habanero peppers. It says extra hot. We'll see. We're going to start with the guacamole. It says try on Tamales, beef, tacos, hamburgers, salads, and seafood. Gives you a little pairing. We'll run down the ingredients here for the guacamole. We got water, natural avocado, habanero pepper, tomatilla, salt, modified cornstarch, acetic acid, xanthan gum, dehydrated coriander, dehydrated onion, condiments, and spices. Got a good looking color there to it. It's what caught my eye. And then beside it, they had the salsa habanero. Give it a good shake. It's got a pretty good smell. Picking up some, uh, uh, the tomatillas is what I'm smelling. I love that smell. All right, we're going to get into the pour. Hopefully, guys, be one of my last reviews out of the clear spoon. I may still do it, may do a comparison, but got something coming. You guys that know, know. Now, this is a good creamy sauce, good pour. It's more prominent of a smell out of the bottle. All right, guys, this is the Zashila. Salsa guacamole with habanero. Saucy Shane, let's give us a try. Definitely got the sting from the habanero. Picking up the uh, tomatilla, like on the smell. Not much of an avocado guacamole taste. Not that it matters. We can give it another little shake, shaky. I'm gonna try another little spoonful of it. Don't want to get too crazy because we got another sauce to do. And y'all know if I do multiple sauces, you know what I do at the end of it, right? It's got okay flavor. Like I said, not picking up a lot of the guacamole. You're definitely getting the um, tomatilla, a little bit of the pepper, very little bit of the onion. Uh, getting the, the salt for sure. So next, what we're going to try is their salsa habanero. Also marked extra hot. It says, great on tacos, pizzas, steak, seafood, chicken, or subs. It even got, put it on your subs, it says here. We're going to run down the ingredients. This one's got water, tomato, habanero peppers, salt, dehydrated carrot. I like that. Acetic acid, dehydrated onion, xanthan gum, dehydrated coriander, and condiments and spices. Give it a good shake. Crack the seal. Want to get my hands on the League of Fire Chug Challenge. I hope they uh, put it back on the market since it's gained extreme popularity. I'd like to try it. This one's got a way different aroma. Let's give this a pour here. 
that come out quick. I wasn't really intrigued on the color of this, but I'm thinking that's the carrots I'm picking up, maybe a little bit of the coriander. It's definitely got a different aroma to it. We don't have the tomatillas in it, so I'm not picking up that. I think it's more prominent with the coriander. All right, guys, this is the salsa habanero. Is that Sheila? I'm Saucy Shane. That one's a lot hotter. Which, in the guacamole, well, it's the same. The guacamole habanero comes in third on the list in the ingredients. And so does in this one. This one's got a more of the salsa texture. Kind of the chunky, you get the chunky tomatoes, the habanero. I'm thinking by weight, it's got more of the habanero in it. Let me hit you the sting right away. It's not overpowering with the salt. I'm actually kind of digging this one. It'd be good on some chips. And what I'm thinking it's going to be good on is mixed together with this salsa guacamole. But first, let me give you a heat rating. Say after this one. The spoonful, spoonful and a half, I'm going to be about a 0.5. Now, after I did the spoonful of this one, that probably bumped me up to about a 2. It's got me up to about a 2 right now. So, what we're going to do, we're going to open up both these bad boys. We're going to get our fancy, clear, top-of-the-line spoon. I actually want to do this one first. A little bit in there. Put the guac on top. Oh, that's nice. Well, I was going to tilt the camera down, but she's a little stiff. But you can kind of see the gist of it right there. I don't want to spill it. Saucy Shane, Zashila, Salsa Habanero, Zashila, Salsa Guacamole. Love y'all. The guacamole one is just, it's not too bad, but it's just, it's salty. Pretty good sauces. Uh, I don't know about the extra hot marketing on it, but maybe to some people. I mean, you know, they got to kind of put it on there for, because this one is kind of warm. Non-chili head, non-chili head probably find that to be a, I'd say if you don't eat much hot stuff at all, you'd probably find that to be about a six or a seven. This one, even a non-chili head, probably find that about a two, maybe a three. I'd say a strong two. After that spoonful, I'm still at about a strong two. Good mouth burn, good th throat burn. I'll tell you what it'd be good on as far as chips is the Pocky Ghost Pepper Chips. Stay tuned because I am going to make a video of some loaded haunted nachos. Just got to gather up all the ingredients for it, but uh, it is happening. But I'd say go pick you up some of this. I'm not going to put a link in the description below. Uh, it's pretty mainstream from what I understand. Uh, you pretty much find it at your Walmart, local grocery stores, stuff like that. I'm going to wrap this video up. Don't want to keep it too. Don't want to let it go too long. Bore everybody. Go pick you up a bottle. If you like guacamole, you're probably going to like this sauce right here. I probably wouldn't. Uh, you might. I might add it to some a burrito or something like that. I'd probably just add it to some chips. If you want to know the truth. Add it to uh, chips and salsa. Just some salsa. Put use that on there. Mix them together. Uh, you can check them out. They do got a line of sauces. They got chipotle. Uh, all kind of different sauces. 
Go check them out. Hell, there. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, there ain't nothing to it. Check them out. Product of Mexico. Pretty good sauce. Got a good texture to it. Not too bad. Like I said, it's pretty inexpensive. You know me, I'll go for the cheap stuff anyway. But I love y'all. Smash that thumbs up. If you're just popping in, ain't subscribed to the channel. It ain't. It don't cost nothing. You won't. Uh, you won't be disappointed. At least I hope not. Ring that bell for notification. You won't miss a thing. Go live uh, a lot of times during lunch during the week. Got videos during the weekend. Sometimes during the week. I try to do a video every day. Sometimes you know life gets in the way. It gets a little hectic. I do the best. I try to support my my other family members in the Chile community. Been a been an awesome weekend this this weekend watching the, my brothers do the chug challenge everything spicy hot damn show atomic menace they smashed it even scott's bonnet uh he done a little trash talking in the beginning but i mean that's part of it you know he, he done more way more than i could i'd like to just try one bottle but that's gonna be in the works hopefully they'll put it back out on the line pretty soon as like i said it's game huge popularity like a freight train but anyway guys i'm gonna cut it out here this has been the review super saucy sunday with zash sheila's i love y'all smash that thumbs up i hope y'all have a good night safe tomorrow stay saucy love y'all